and our presence, what we sense, how we feel in this moment, what is for us. And remembering, returning to this moment again and again, to this breath, to this body, to this reality, material truth. and enlightening it with more and more awareness. Expansion with the inhalation. Relaxation with the exhalation. The greater depth of breath, the greater your depth of experience and healing creative potential to renew breath of life Just checking in these opening moments. And getting set in your foundations, namely being comfortable, relaxed in the body, at ease in your seat, firmly rooted through the pelvic floor, stabilizing and stretching from the navel through the spine, full length. Upward lift in the heart, a tuck of the chin, shoulders relaxed back and down, tip of the tongue resting atop the roof of the mouth, and two eyes resting to the third eye. Here, let's come to press our palms together at our hearts. Welcome, good to see you. And we'll take a few deep breaths and then we'll tune in, okay? Let's inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You keep breathing. I'm actually going to explain the mantra on behalf of our new students. But please keep that same quality breath. Deep breathing. We tune in in every Kundalini yoga class with the sounds Ong Namo Buddha Dev Namo. Ong is the infinite creative of the universe. Namo, we bow to this. Buddha, Dev, Namo, this within me, my inner teacher, my inner guide, light of my soul, I bow to. We follow it with a second mantra, bowing to this primal power for its wisdom and guidance through our class, our practice, and our lives. Exhale, please. Inhale, exhale, and now this time inhale to tune in. Um.
Please come to rest on the back. We also have a spot here in the middle. Thanks for coming up, Brian. It's nice to keep it contained in the single room. So if either of you want to come here, middle, middle, nice spot for you. So the Kriya today, if I can just have your attention before we begin, is Saivi Kriya. Brian and Rutha, you practiced it with me Friday. Uh, it's a Kriya to master one's domain. This is in the body at the navel point and the third eye. And um, also in the mind, the ability to project a thought and actually manifest it. So we begin with leg lifts. Um, before we begin the actual exercise, we're gonna do the pranayama with it, breath work. So you all, most of you are familiar with the breath of fire. We're going to do that breath of fire for the O-shaped mouth. And we're going to be doing this for a while. So plenty of breath work in the opening uh, 20 minutes of the class. So you want to find a sustainable rhythm. And then over time, it can become more strengthened and empowered. But you want to stay steady, balanced with the rhythm. Every exhale, navel draws into the spine, like a bellows, fanning your inner fire, your digestive heat, your tapas, psychic heat at the nerve plexus of the navel point. And now in tandem with this breath, we're going to begin lifting the legs up to 90 degrees together and exhaling them down. And so I made a mistake in teaching this class Friday where I started with alternate like this. We're actually doing both legs simultaneously, up to 90, back down to the floor. You're here for a solid five minutes. Best you can, keep the toes flexed and the knees straight. So toes flex, so you're not pointing the toes, but they're flexed. About the Kriya, reading the comments now. 
When you control your domain, you act from the center of your being. Cool. In the realm of mind, it means you can hold and project an important thought. In the realm of body, it means that you are able to circulate blood from the core to the outlying limbs and glands. This Kriya gives you command in both realms, physical and mental. The deep muscular tension released through these exercises enables the blood to flow freely to all parts of the body, feeding the cells with oxygen and nutrients and flushing the body of toxins and the byproducts of normal metabolism. shaped mouth breath of fire breath of fire serves to open the lungs expanding them purifying them clearing the pathways through which chi prana the vital life force energy that inform our feelings and thoughts move through the body. The body takes in stimuli first, feels it, senses it, experiences it through the central nervous system, which then informs the brain. And we tend to be reactive a lot of the time, not in an active, creative, self-generative principle. master your domain, you got to master your mind. If you master your mind, you can master your world, your life. Last two minutes here, three minutes down. Maybe you're starting to notice that you need the breath to be strong, powerful, to keep up. We say it all the time, keep up, you will be kept up. Steady within the practice, steady within the discipline, Practicing daily if you can. And within each exercise, doing your best, keeping up. You got to do the work to reap the reward. Kriya today comes from I Am a Woman, Creative, Sacred, and Invincible book by Satpurik. And the chapter, Woman as Her Own Psychologist. Final minute. With every cycle of breath, you can mentally vibrate a mantra for yourself. Our Bij mantra, the seed mantra of our practice is Satanam. True identity, true reality, true name, vibration. My true self. Your deepest self, your highest self, being an instrument for your soul. Not for the Maya, the illusions of ego. 20 seconds. Finish on a strong high note. Enter the third eye, if you will. Strengthen the navel, stretch the legs, perfect the posture, movements. Inhale, hold the legs up briefly. Suspend the breath, suspend the posture, suspend your focus to the third eye and tone the perineum. Draw the navel to the spine. Inhale more. Exhale, slowly release the legs.
savor your embodied experience, circulate from the navel, from the heart, radiate the energy, breathe deep. Deep inhale, deep exhale. We'll continue leg lifts and we'll continue that same breath of fire, but we'll be alternating legs. One leg at a time. Sa nam sa nam. Eyes are invited to focus the third eye closed, relating to the command center. Ajna, third eye. You're only here for two minutes. Halfway, one minute down, one minute to go. If you can speed up without compromising the integrity, please do so. Thirty seconds. You're doing it, but are you in the experience? Are you present? Last few. Inhale, both legs up. Apply move on the root lock. As though holding going to the bathroom or applying a kegel, rectum, down the sex organ, navel in that order. Inhale more. Exhale. Slowly lower the legs. Deepest possible inhale, most complete exhale. Another inhale. And moving with this next exhale to come up to a tabletop posture, cow pose. Wrist just below the shoulders, spread the fingers wide, press down through them and the palms, less pressure in the wrists. You can always bend the elbows a little bit. Here, we're not gonna kick the gong. I'm not going to. We'll stretch the right leg up, out, and then we'll switch legs. And then we'll add in that same breath of fire through an O-shaped mouth. Keep your balance, keep your sym symmetry, keep your head up. Focus direct to the third eye. And as you can sustain it, your course welcome to speed up and power the breath. Keep your equilibrium. Mentally and physically. 
Find your rhythm. Belly drops, spine stretching down, head and neck stretching up. Three more minutes here. Beautiful relationship with your breathing, with your life, with your prana, your energy. When you attune to more of its subtlety, more of its grace, the light of the prana. Halfway. Momentum starting to pick up. Maybe. I want to get there to the threshold, to the pressure, to the irritated ego and the negative mind. I want to cross the threshold over that. Final minute. By the grace, power, freedom of the breath, all is made possible. Inspiration. Courage. These are active principles, qualities within you. 30 seconds, stretch, breathe, flex the body and spirit, body and the breath, stable mind, satanam, true vibration, true thought, true light. Last few. Continue, but add in the opposite arm, opposite leg. Right leg goes back, left arm comes up. Straight forward, shoulder. Same breath. Take you guys out. We just have two more minutes here. Rest as you need to. You can rest in child's pose. Humility. Master your domain. Self mastery. You can read books about it, or you can do this kind of a work physical, mental, spiritual. 
emotional? What are you feeling? What's coming up? What's surfacing? Processing, last 55 seconds. Promise. Have to think, let it be stuff now. The breath. Attitude. Inhale, exhale, informing, inhale, relaxing, exhale, and please come to rise up. And we have a couple more vigorous exercises here in the Master Your Domain Kriya. 
Uh, for this next one, we're doing what we call frogs. And we're doing 52, ideally, or you can do 26, or anywhere in between. It's up to you. Um, so we're sitting like a frog with the balls of the feet and the toes on the floor, and the fingers on the floor, and the thumbs on the floor. And then the heels are touching back behind us, and we keep them touching as we inhale, stretching the legs and the arms straight, gazing back behind us, exhaling back down, sitting like a frog. Again, 52 ideally, so you do need to keep count. Move rhythmically, quickly with the breath. You can do however many you like, but try to set an aim, a goal, and do that many. We do frogs a lot in Kundalini Yoga because it transmutes, transforms the energy in the lowest three chakras, elements of earth, water, and fire. Transforms the energy there and moves it through the system to circulate creative energy, sexual energy, the ego's energy, survival energy, taps into that really profound power. Potential. So if you need motivation to keep moving, keep breathing, keep up, that's it. And then when you've done your number, then relax, however you like. Standing, sitting, on the back, Breathing satnam, get there, keep up, keep going. You didn't set 108 for yourself, did you? When you've completed your number, then to rest is kasana. Find your way up like that. Meditative. And I like this next exercise a lot. The arms will be up like this at 60 degrees. Not 45, but 60. Fingers together, thumbs away. And with the inhale, we'll come up. With the exhale, we'll return to 60. And we'll do that three to four times, and then we'll rest in the exhale posture. We'll do it in rhythm and beat with the music we're listening to. I'm sorry to people zooming in. I couldn't figure out how to get the songs to share to you. But here in house, we'll do it with the music. Follow my lead. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, rest. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Rest, like that. Opening the portal of the crown chakra. With the breath, with the movement, with the mantra. This mantra is bowing, bowing, bowing over and over again to all the divine qualities 
active in the world, active principles through us. It's a five minute exercise. Do your best, keep up as long as you can. Third eye gaze, tip of the tongue, roof of the mouth. Physically, this exercise stimulates the heart directly. The circulatory system, the endocrine glandular system. It also works in the mental realm, training you to concentrate and gain control of the mind and over your domain. Breathing with the navel. Almost there. Perfect the posture. Open the crown. Inhale. Inhale. Apply Mulban. Inhale more. Exhale. Twice more, deep breath. Rectum, sex organ, navel, move on. Inhale more, exhale, hold, last time. Inhale and apply the pressure, root lock. Inhale more, exhale, sweep the arms through the auric field. Come to rest them in Gyan Mudra, index fingers and thumbs together, arms straight, spine straight, heart lifted. Breathe long and deep. And we're going to meditate to the song Himalaya about Guru Gobind Singh, uh, the founder of the Khalsa and the Sikh faith. And the, he was a yogi in a past life uh, in the Himalayas. So invitation here to go deep within the center of your being. Breathe. 
to that. Antar Guru, your inner teacher, your source, your soul. Center of your being, your domain. The longing of your soul is my Saints and angels are beginning to be. One more minute. Go deep. Heal yourself. Breathe. Meditate. Enter your domain, breathing with your navel, opening your third eye. The 
And remaining cross legged, make your way to the back, keeping the ankles crossed, resting back. And cross the palms over the heart. So this is a modified Shavasana. And another recording is called for from Kriya by the same artist. This one is called Promises. Relax in this position, continue long deep breath, palms over the heart. Where is the hope for a soul such as mine? A life that will shine. Is there a person who will see? Stress in your life, I don't want to do. Because what I do is more than stress in my Trust in me that I need to share the joys, tribulations, the joys, the good. As a part of me, I just want to be Thank 
Resurrect your breath. And bring back movement to the fingers and toes, wrists, ankles, arms and legs. Take a couple cat stretches. Yeah, knee hugged into the chest, crossed over the opposite leg, turning face the opposite way, like that, yeah. Hug the knees to the chest, rock side to side, forward and back. And we'll be sitting Sukhasana for the next few exercises, totaling 18 minutes. So now is a good time to stretch them, shake them out, adjust your seat, maybe use a cushion, bolster. This next Kriya is for creating self-love, self-blessing. We'll be mentally and hypnotically blessing ourselves. 
in this posture with the right hand over the crown of the head and the left palm out in front of us, the shoulder height. Right, yeah. And we're gonna start stretching the breath. We wanna get to the point where we're inhaling for 20 seconds and then holding the breath for 20 seconds and then exhaling for 20 seconds. That's called the one minute breath. Um, it seems like a long time. You start, you can do like 10 seconds inhaling, 10 seconds holding, 10 seconds exhaling, and then you can push it to 15 and then 20 eventually. You just want to stretch the breath, inhaling. What? You use the music to breathe with? You can use a mantra also. Sa, ta, na. Ma, and that's four seconds. And you do that five times to 20, you do it four cycles to 16, three to 12. Um, I'm not gonna start the timer until all of us, all right, I'm just kidding, I'll start it now. Um, 11 minutes, it's a long hold. We do long holds, the timer's on. We do long holds, <laughs> it pressures the system, so the system has a response. Famously, we do 62 minutes. Um, Dial Jyoti and I, we did like 62 minutes. Like, what was the hardest one we did, you think? Yeah, we did this one together, like that, for 62 minutes. So I don't wanna hear it, 11 minutes. <laughs> we're gonna do it, we're gonna have fun. It's, we're self-loving, self-healing, self-blessing. Eyes are closed. I'll stop the comedy routine. Eyes are closed, gazing down at the chin. This is called the moon center. It heals the subconscious. The first exercise is called Reverse Adi Shakti, Primal Power, in which you are mentally and hypnotically blessing yourself. This self-blessing affects and corrects the magnetic field, the bio-electromagnetic field heart field, aura. Doing this exercise may hurt if you are angry, if you're an angry person. Self-help is very difficult for those who carry anger. After doing this exercise for a few minutes, you may start hurting if the diet is improper. The taste in the mouth could change if you are breathing correctly. This Kriya benefits everything between the neck and the navel. It will give strength to the heart and will open the heart center. Yogi Bhajan quote, love doesn't rule you. What rules you is fear, phenomenal fear. Through this Kriya, love may be invoked and fear reduced. Keep the integrity of the posture best you can. Alignment in the spine, tip of the tongue, roof of the mouth, eyes gazing down at the chin. Start stretching the breath to 20, 20, and 20 if you can. Left hand is blessing the world. Right hand, blessing the crown.
discomfort, the pain even. Breathe through. Expand your awareness through it, not simply focusing on it, but going through and beyond it to the entirety of your experience. Expanding the field of your awareness, physically, orically. Blessing, healing, loving, all parts of yourself and all that arises in your field of perception. Unconditional, equanimous, compassionate acceptance. Simple power of your humanity. Holding space for yourself as well as you can hold it for others. Well over halfway. Two minutes, creating self-love. So you can care for yourself, value yourself, love yourself, teach others, love you that same way. Perfect the posture. Perfect the breath rhythm.
Final minute. Thirty seconds. Receive your blessing, receive your love. And to end, inhale deeply. And slowly move the arms forward into the next posture. Maybe take care of yourself for a moment. And then we'll continue for just a few minutes holding here like Superman, Superwoman. Arms straight out from the shoulders, palms facing down. Stretching out from the shoulders straight. Now you can relax the minute breath and no longer holding the inhale, just breathing long and deep. Slow, deep, long breath. Gaze is still at the lunar center, the chin. Eyes closed, looking downward. It's an experiment. What does focusing there do for you? How is it different from third eye? Of the nose, no concentrating focus. Best you can, I'll bend on the elbows. Deep navel breathing. Halfway. Forever true, primal truth, true through time. True now and forever will be true. That's you, that's your primal power, primal truth, Adi Shakti. Final minute here. Breathing from the womb, that creative potency, Kundalini Shakti. Entering the portal of your inner being. Pulse of life. Vibratory origin. Uncoil your awareness.
Inhale deeply. To exhale and slowly raise the arms up for the final three minute posture here. Arms hugging the ears straight. Keep the shoulder blades relaxed down the back. Palms face forward. Same long deep breath. Same drishti tip of the chin. Just the chin. Arms perpendicular with the floor. Stretch the spine. Breathing, Satana. Halfway. Stretch the breath long, slow, and deep as you can. Body, lungs, diaphragms, navel. Flex the breathing body. Stretch, open. Expand, deepen your awareness. Get comfortable now, and to end, we'll inhale. Holding the breath for a short time as you stretch the arms upward, stretch the spine, and tighten all the muscles in the body. Fingers, hands, arms, shoulders, back, spine, seat, legs, torso, head, squeeze, inhale more. Exhale, hold the posture. We're going to do that twice more. Inhale. Squeeze your seat, squeeze your spine, squeeze every muscle in the body, every fiber, every cell. Contract, vibrate. Inhale more, exhale. Relax for a moment, keep the arms where they are. Exhale completely first. To then inhale. Expand into the breath, breath down to the seat and squeeze from there up along the spine. Squeeze the whole body. Get to the root, the core, the center of your being. Consolidate. Inhale more. Exhale. Slow as you can. Sweep the arms through the auric field. Yang mudra, if you like, or in your lap or at your heart. Long deep breaths. 
relax. Breathing soft now. So I'd like to continue with a meditation to strengthen the inner voice. Inner voice, the voice of the soul, the voice of the Antar Guru, the inner teacher. It's imperative you know you have a soul and that you can listen and work with it, follow its lead. So this meditation strengthens that inner voice, which is a lot softer, more subtle than the voice of our standard, ordinary mind, ego. So here, the palms are together, pink, pinkies together, palms are open, and we're looking down at our hands. Eyes are open partially, and we're looking down at the hands, and we'll chant waho mentally 10 times as we inhale. So 10 stroke, inhaling through the nose, with the mantra waho repeated 10 times, and then 10 exhales, guru. Completing the breath fully in, fully out, with 10 cycles, roughly, if you do 9 or 11, 12 or 8, it's fine. Mostly you're just vibrating that mantra, waho, on the inhale, go, guru, on the exhale. And after a few minutes, then we'll switch to chanting this out loud. At times when the path of truth and clarity seem lost, calm yourself and still your mind. Then the path will be shown to you. In this meditation, the head is bent as if an offering to the guru or the higher, deepest self. Besides strengthening your mental direction, it can alleviate blood disease with the breath work. To live life according to the guidance of inner truth is essential. If you do not, there will be doubts. If your doubts aren't removed, then frustration comes. Frustration, when not released, leads to anger, which then leads to destructive action either to the self, others, or both. To stop the vicious cycle, create the habit to still the self and ask questions of your own higher consciousness. This meditation develops that capacity to still the self, 
and ask questions of your own higher consciousness. The worst enemy there is, is whosoever steals your stability. It's not evil that makes one strong, but it's rather those who lay emotional tantrums. They say, you are no friend if you are not miserable when I am. We must work together against our own sickness to stop the sharing of misery, pain, and suffering. No one wants it. Yogi Bhajan. Halfway through this first part. Waho, the indescribable, Guru, the wisdom. Indescribable bliss, ecstasy of one's inner light. realizing, actualizing this. A minute, focus completely on the mantra, on the breath, on the hands. It's in your hands. Finish the cycle you're on and then relax the hands to Kyam Nidra and we'll chant that mantra eight Wahos now, eight Gurus in a continuous monotone all together. Exhale. Gaze may be at the third eye or just concentrating at one point, maybe the tip of the nose. Inhale deeply to begin. Waho, Waho. Wow, 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 guru, 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 wow, 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 guru, 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 guru. Guru, wow, 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 guru, 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 
cycle of your breathing, meditating, listening deeply. All you sense, feel, hear, all vibrations, listen deeply from the inside out.
be present, be at zero, no compromise, empty, listening beyond this. Exhale, hold your hand at your heart, and bless yourself, bless one another, each other, all parts of you, all your relations. You can send this prayer to someone somewhere from the heart with love. Inhale to join in song. Exhale. If you have a mantra sheet, flip it over. Inhale to begin. Exhale, this time for real, inhale to start. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you. today, and gratitude to yourself, your body, your soul, the entire hands you suspect, and to all those who bowed at the altar of their hearts, minds, bodies, and souls before us, and passed down traditions, spiritual practices like Kundalini Yoga. Satnam.